Hello, beautiful people. So I've been musing recently on the meaning of bless you. What does bless you mean? And the meaning of blessings? Because I use it a lot. And I know the sense and the feel of it. Um, I'm sitting outside today and I feel like a blessing is just being able to be out here with you guys, uh, listening to the sound of the wind through the trees, which I wanted to share with you. Can you sense and feel that as a blessing? So according to the dictionary, which I always like to have a look up because it's quite interesting looking at different views, um, a blessing is always conveyed as a good luck, a nice thing to say to someone, um, a form of gratitude. Um, and then there's the other side of it when you know when we all sneeze and someone says, bless you, or God bless you, goddess bless you, bless you. Um, it's purported that that was actually from the time of the plague, where if you were to sneeze, they thought you had the plague. And that in those days, in the medieval times, might mean death. So they were really, it was a compassionate way of saying, oh, God, God bless you, you've got, you've got the lurgy. So that's transposed into like every time we sneeze for whatever reason um, into an opportunity really to bless someone. And I think there's also a term that was originally Wiccan, I think, in, in, in beginnings of called blessed be. And it's something of a ritualistic nature that has a deeper meaning than just those words put together. But I love that. It's a, it's a way of entry. It's a way of ritual. It's a way of uh, opening up to the sacredness, to the connection with Gaia, to Mother Earth and spirit. So there's a lot going on with this word bless. Um, we have a, a, so during my there's a course I've been running for quite a number of years now, which is a two year journey. People have um, elected to be with me over that time. And it's been a pure honor and privilege to be part of people's journey to really investigate the individual soul signature of how an individual might heal themselves, others, the animal kingdom and the world. And I channel quite a lot of different uh, energies, light beings, spirits. And we had a beautiful prayer of blessings just for self-healing and healing, the healing modalities. And I wanted to share that with you today because I think it's something that came through every single word, every single line has meaning. And um, I think words are extraordinarily important. They carry a vibration, they carry a harmony. The whole universe has sound in it. Have you ever Googled uh, NASA's sound of Earth or the sound of any of our planets in our universe? It's extraordinary, it's actually extraordinary. And the harmonics when they all weave together is something else. I totally recommend you check that out sometime. So our prayer or a wish or a statement of intent, depending on if you have a belief structure of something bigger and, and something you're a part of, whether that's God, Goddess, Divine, Universal Life Force, whatever name is right for you, because words are important. So we say, Blessed be. So blessings be for us this day, or for me this day, you could say. You start off with the self. So blessings be for me this day. My soul has healed the pain away. In its place arrives all I need. This I do truly believe. All is well. 
there are other things that you can add to that, like no harm be done. Um, may this be for the highest good of all concerned. Anything that really feels right for you that fits totally with your authentic heart is great. But each of those words as they group together form a weave of healing energy that has built over the last several years into meaning we are in line with our own authentic heart and our highest self, our spiritual self, our God goddess, our belief in love, our belief in love. So blessings be for me this day is is a sentence that says you are blessing yourself. You're happy to receive blessings from this day. My soul has healed the pain away. That's tapping into your belief structure that you have a soul and that you believe the pain can be transformed by knowledge and tools within the soul. In its place arrives all I need. There's a universal belief there that you are trusting in the universe for everything to be perfect in the way it's meant to be. How does that part feel? Are you at that point? Are you nearly at that point? Is that not a belief structure of yours? I'd love to hear any um, of your belief structures, where you're up to with this in the comments field below, so we can have a natter. And then it's really important, this last line of, this I do truly believe. So it's saying all of this, all of the words, the sounds, the harmonics I've just produced, I trust in. And I truly believe. It's like I'm full on committed to what I've just said. So I just wanted to give you that as a, an example. Please, it's freely given, freely taken. So use that if it feels right for you in any situation that feels right for you. It's a nice um, setup prayer for any kind of uh, work that you're going to do where you come inside your ceremonial and ritualistic self and connection with the divine or anything other than yourself or even into your own heart and self. <laughs> I've got an itchy nose, excuse me. <laughs> My mum always said, itchy nose, news coming. <laughs> and the other one was itchy bum, surprise to come. <laughs> Oh, there's a few more of those, but not on this video. <laughs> oh, God, that's really funny. So blessings are a, a beautiful thing. And I'd just love you to inquire today what sort of blessings have you had recently or even this morning. You know, blessings such as I woke up this morning. That's a blessing. I can, you know, uh, eat. I can sing, I can talk, I can share this with you, I can enjoy the mother nature, I can love and enjoy my family, they're a blessing to me, my friends, family, blessing to me, my soul family, blessing to me, oh my goodness, I can find so many blessings. And um, I was talking to somebody yesterday about blessings and we were starting to say that sometimes it's easier to start off with the small things, the things that perhaps we take for granted, like breathing, like walking, you know, for most people, um, like reading, perhaps for most people. But those aren't small things to me, they're huge. It's a real gift, it's a real honor, it's a real, ah, uh, it's just, it's just an amazing gift to get another breath, 
to see the world through the eyes of a blessed life. So uh, previously, we've talked about, you know, vibrations and frequencies of words. And we've talked about the fact that sometimes words belong in the pits, which is a low vibration. The reasoning mind, which is the middle vibration and the higher mind, which the higher mind is full of love and hope and, and faith and trust and forgiveness and blessings. And bless you for taking the time to be with me this day with this video. I had a beautiful, a beautiful bless you moment the other day. We were graduating um, our group of, of beautiful people on the, the, their completion of the two year healing and vibrational medicine. And we were sitting in the garden in a circle, majoritively. And um, I had a butterfly that landed on me. And it was a beautiful moment because naturally there's lots of butterflies and bees around at the moment. And so you could think, oh, well, butterflies and bees, you know, they're, they're around a lot at the moment. They'll land on people and go off again. But the blessing for this one was it stayed for quite some time. And even though a couple of ladies approached me and got really close, it flew off like butterflies do, but then it came back again to the same spot near my heart. And it stayed and it stayed and it stayed. So I take that as a blessing. So how open are you to blessings? So maybe just for this weekend, for the next three days, you could have that as your opening of the mind and heart and the alignment that is potentially there for you to see the world through bless you, eyes, heart and mind. If you see, you know, oh, dire things, horrible things, things that, that you find uh, trauma making, See if you can bless it in some way. Can you bless the people? Can you bless the situation? Can you raise the vibrations high enough for the light beings to enter, to assist more? Ah, just something to think about over the weekend. Bless you. Love you. Bye for now. Mwah.